What is up, Pokefans? Welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Matt, and welcome to Season 7, where we climb the rank ladder till we get master rank, which we have already achieved, using a team that we built from scratch. No real announcements. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to be filming our first episode for the podcast, which is going to be literally called Introductions for the uh, episode name. And then we're going to come up with a schedule to record for our bi-weekly podcast and then come out with a date. I want to say it's probably going to be the Saturday upload because I do want to upload on Saturdays, but I do need time to like relax. So once I come up with a, a date, I will let you guys know and uh, hopefully it'll be before the podcast comes out. So we'll, we'll see and I'll, and I'll do my best to let you guys know ahead of time. But with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get our first match of five. Alrighty, our first match is ready to go. We've got Scizor, Dragonite, Iron Bundle, Abomasnow, uh, Avalug, that's interesting, and um, Electrode. A lot of people use an Electrode now. I wonder why that is. Okay, so who should be in our roster for uh, this grand evening? So we could probably assume or at least surmise that Iron Bundle and Avalug have to do with some sort of build with the Abomasnow. So maybe a Blizzard open is something that will be seen. We'll bring in Torkoal and um, I, I want to say Fluttermane. Maybe Great Tusk would be best. I mean, we could walk in with Chien Pao and Chien Pao would take, would take advantage of the of the snow. Um, let's go ahead and go Fluttermane first. Great Tusk and uh, we'll bring in Chien Pao. We won't worry about our Tailwinder. It doesn't look like this team is going to be set up perfectly for Tailwind. So, but we just need to offset that Blizzard nonsense that we could be seeing. And it's a direct counter to Obama Snow, which is really, really interesting, but Torkoal does go last. Uh, Dragonite and Iron Bundle. Interesting stuff. So Iron Bundle will probably have Quark Drive with the uh, Energy Booster. They did not. So with that, we are well on our way to uh, go up with the, you know what? We'll go with the Eruption and the Moon Blast to Iron Bundle. So right into that slot to knock out the Iron Bundle. No, it knocks it down to a Sash. Interesting. So sacrificing its speed to survive one more attack. Chill Water will go into the Torkoal. Drops its attack. Are you going to do extreme speed? Oh, because you dropped its attack. Eject pack will now kick in and knock it backwards. So here we go with the Chien Pao. I could go in Great Tusk, but I think Chien Pao is a little bit better. Now, Dragonite, what are you going to do? Earthquake? Knock out your own Pokemon. Interesting stuff there. Bomb of Snow now comes out now. It's gonna change the weather. Knocks out Fluttermane's pro uh, Protosynthesis, which is totally fine. So I'm gonna knock it out now. I'm gonna double into the Dragonite slot. It probably has some sort of choice item. I'm not sure. We'll see in just in a little bit. It's probably got multi-scale as well and not uh, not using any type of shenanigans like uh, Inner Focus. I just really shouldn't say in, uh, shenanigans because Inner Focus is still good. I don't know if it's useful now. Especially with Regulation D right around the corner. Okay, we've got Dragonite terraforming into steel. So my Moonblast isn't going to do a whole lot of damage, but Great Tusk in the back will have a grand old day taking out this Pokemon. So Moonblast won't do anything, but we'll drop the special attack. Ice Spinner into that slot will also do nothing. Dragonite will now do the Earthquake, which hits everyone, including Above Us. No, we'll knock out the Fluttermane, unfortunately. And Giga Drain to knock out Chien Pao. Which leaves the two Pokemon in the back. I think Dragonite is... choiced somehow. 
We'll now bring in our Great Tusk and Torkoal. Take out the snow here. Okay, so the best option that I have out of this predicament is to eruption and headlong rush. We're gonna headlong rush into the Dragonite and eruption into both slots, thinking that we would be able to outspeed one or both of them. At least uh, Great Tusk is going to be outspeeding Dragonite for sure. Now, I do apologize for the stuff that's happening outside. I should have mentioned that earlier in the video. We do have maintenance around in our uh, duplex doing landscaping work, so noises is going to appear here and there, and I, I can't really do anything about it. So, but we'll see what, what's going to happen here. J Extreme speed into the Torkoal slot will not knock it down. Gets it about half, but headlong rush will go right into that slot to knock out the Dragon Knight. So we know it's not a choice item. Now, Giga Drain onto the Great Tusk, which will one hit KO it, unfortunately. That kind of sucks. But now it faints and Torkoal now does a not so well-rounded eruption into the bomb snow, which will also one hit KO it. So now the Pokemon count should be one to one. Who is it? Scizor. All right. We may not survive Mott Punch or Bullet Punch, but we'll give it a try. We're going to Terra Fire Overheat into that slot and see if we could somehow survive. Maybe Great Tusk would have survived if we had used our Terra Fire against the Obama Snow, because then at least Giga Drain wouldn't have done so much. Thief will steal nothing. Well, here is the overheat and boom, one hit KO right into the scissor slot and we'll knock it out. And we barely won by a hair because Thief was going to steal an item that Torkoal didn't have anymore. Alrighty, and our second match is ready to go. We've got Azumarill, Reloom, Fluttermane, Mousehold, that poison normal looking thing over there, Graffarig or something, and Iron Moth. Very interesting team setup that we have here. So, uh, okay, I'll have to look at that later. All right, so what do we do about this team? So Iron Moth is right now set up to be like a, sweat, a sludge wave hammer with a Gork Drive. I think it does get access to Tailwind. I, I've, I wanna say that I've seen it use it, but I don't really think that this team really uses it that much, but we do see quite a few Pokemon that we could take advantage of for sure. So I think we're gonna walk in with uh, our Torkoal Great Tusk thing right up front. Uh, yeah, um, Champow in the back and we could probably get away with Fluttermane in there as well, just to kind of swip in and out. There's mainly um, special attackers. I mean, Mousehold could be a physical attacker, but we got Brilliant that's physical, Azumarill that's physical, Iron Moth that's special, that Graphic thing that is special, I think. I know that it has Prankster, but it also has Unburdened too. So hopefully it's not the Unburdened build, because if it's Unburdened, that's gonna be really, really hard to come over, especially with me not walking in with Tailwind. But we'll see. Uh, yep, Graphify and uh, Fluttermane, let's go. Okay, we'll start off with the Drought, start with Synthesis for them, and Special Attack was heightened. And I'm walking in with a Proto-Synthesis of my own, but my attack was heightened. Okay, so we're gonna protect here on Torkoal, and we're gonna just straight off go with the Earthquake. Had the wrong rush would probably be a little bit better, but I'm afraid that a uh, Fluttermane is going to do something different. 
Uh, Terra into the Flutter main to get Ket. And that is a uh, Terra Fairy. Seems normal so far. Okay, Torkoal protects himself. Switcheroo with the uh, Draft Rig, which uh, the Graf Fifi. So he swapped my choice item for a Flame Orb. It's totally fine. Dazzling Gleam from the Fluttermane will not go into the Torkoal because it protected. And it should live. It does not. But the Switcheroo kind of did nothing, really. Like, it, it seemed helpful at the time, but uh, I don't know if it's helpful now. Hmm, what do we do? I think we'll uh, go into our own Fluttermane here. Okay, so now we get a speed increase. So I'm gonna go ahead and helping hand my Fluttermane. Terra Fairy, because why not? And I'll do my own Dazzling Gleam, because his is Life Orb. He does a little bit more damage because he's got life orb, but he's not locked into anything. So he could potentially protect and negate most of the damage that I'm outputting here. And he could switch Rue again, but I don't know if he would want to. He does switch Rue, but with his own Pokemon to give him choice Scarf. And him with the life orb. Mine will still go first because of the fact that I'm based on speed. And I will knock out the Flattermane. And I will take about three quarters away from uh, the Graffery as well. Okay, next up is Azumarill. Swap out the Torkoal to bring on Chen Pao. And we'll go ahead and continue with the Dazzling Gleam. Well, maybe it wasn't half or three quarters. It looked like it was a lot, probably like 60, 60%. 60, 65, I would say. Okay, so we swap out gas, or um, sorry, Torkoal for a Chien Pao. Save a little bit more on the energy there. Lower down everyone's defenses. He will use Encore, but it doesn't affect the Chien Pao. Dazzle Gleam. Right into the two slots. Will not knock out the Grafifi, but Play Rough will go into Fluttermane and will knock it out. Huge power coming in from that slot. Okay, now we all bring in the uh, the Torkoal here. And we'll go ahead and... Wow, nothing's like really affecting... Azimril, huh? All right, we'll go ahead and just hit into that slot. And... Why not? Eruption. All right, what's the, what's the worst that could happen? It's a 2v3. One's almost out here, uh, out of the way, so maybe. Switcheroo on the Torkoal. That's cool. So I get Life Orb and he gets Charcoal. Oh no, the Eject Pack. It's totally fine. Ice Spinner into the Azimaril. Take it down to two thirds. Play rough into that slot, and it looks like Champau avoided the attack, and here comes the eruption from downtown, knocking out both Pokemon. And because now I have Life Orb, that's gonna do a lot more damage. Oh, so now this goes from a two on three to a two on one. And Torkoal loses a little bit of HP because of the fact of, yes. <laughs> Okay, Breloom with its mock punching status here. We're gonna go ahead and maybe say sucker punch? Well, sucker punch won't do anything. 
Um, we'll click Ice Spinner. We'll see what Torkoal can do. Oh, Torkoal just pretty much kills it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just uh, helping him the Chien Pao. Because he has to hit Chien Pao twice to, to knock it out. Because, you know, Focus Sash. Ice Spinner into that slot to the Breloom. And it will be one hit KO'd. And that is the end of match number two. Not bad. Switcheroo is one of those techs that it's really fun to, to mess with, but it can also screw you. Alrighty, match number three is up and ready to go. We've got a trick room set up pretty much. <laughs> we've got Entity Female with the... We've got Grofifi, Fifi, Lilligant, Torkoal, Bronzong, and Ting Lu. So obvious trick room setup with the Lilligant being like the obvious outlier to outspeed almost everybody. She hit like her stats hit 312 under Chlorophyll and that's with hers. But I have Jump Bluff, which is faster than, uh, than Lilligant. Uh, the, the, the thing is though, if, uh, if I don't plan this correctly, I will end up getting overrun because obviously this is a trick room set up with a couple of people that can be outliers. It's going to be really, really hard to really pilot through this because I don't want to bring in my own Torkoal, but I will bring in someone that can help with Torkoal. Uh, we'll bring in Great Tusk and Jump Pluff, um, Fluttermane and Gyarados. Yes, that's who we'll bring in. I felt confident about this team. I'm hoping that it does really, really well. Again, I just want to prevent myself from getting outsped by Lilligant and even Torkoal. So that after you stuff is no joke. I won season four with that strat. So it's really strong. And it comes out with the Torkoal Lilligant. Let's go. So this is going to be a very interesting match to say the least. So. Drought, Protosynthesis, meet each other. We've we've done this before, but now I'm gonna go ahead and get set up with the Tailwind and then the Earthquake, actually, no, Headlong Rush into the Torkoal slot. Because After You isn't gonna do anything for me now. I think I have 320 speed under, under Sun which is much higher than Lilligan's 312. I think, yep, here comes Tailwind. And now my team is faster. And now Headlong Rush will, from Great Tusk will go into that slot and knock out Torkoal all the way around. And I do get stat drops, but Torkoal is out of here. That strat is now useless. Lilligan now uses after you, so I'm sorry. Sorry, Lilligan, but that strat is now out of here. Woo! Dodged a real bullet there. I love that after use strategy, but this is the reason why I'm not using Lilligan in this season. And I use Jump Love just because of the fact that one, uh, that this is a complete counter to that strategy almost. <laughs> almost. I don't want to say it is, but almost. It gets pretty close. Uh, but the rest of the team, though, Indidi, uh, Grafifi, the, the Pokemon we just saw a little bit before with its switcheroo could cause some problems. But at the same time, it's like something that you want to be uh, uh, like a wary of, uh, like wary of. Uh, we'll go ahead and Pollen Puff the Lilligant to do just a little bit more damage. Headlong Rush into the Grafifi spot. Just to kind of do a little bit of damage here and there. Now, Lilligan still can do after you, but Graffiti is prankster, unless it does its uh, unburdened thing, and which then doubles its speed. But right now I have Tailwind and I'm locked into Headlong Rush. So I'm, I'm looking pretty decent for the time being, but I want to know what they're gonna, what they're planning on doing. Terra next on their side, and it's going to be the Grafifi. And he's flying. Interesting. All right, so Great Tusk is going to headlong rush into that slot, which isn't going to do a whole lot, but I'm going to Pollen Puff into Mijor Legant. So if it does have Sash, it's going to be broken. 
And Lilligant will use the Sleep Powder on the Great Tusk, which will avoid. And Sword Stance on the Graffiti. Which is totally fine. But I'm going to Sleep Powder that slot now because I know what you're doing. And I'm going to swap into Flutter Main to get the even the double, double, double speed. Even more of a boost of a speed. I think Tailwind should uh, burn out next turn. I think I have two turns. I think. I should really like have a counter. Maybe I should up, uh, set up a notion thing for battles and just like click this, click that, and it tells me how many turns. That'd be kind of dope. That, that would be kind of cool. Like, someone make a plugin so like, when you're battling, you can click stuff for, like, effects. Like, po uh, put in your Pokemon, put, like, plus one this, minus one this, so you get, like, accounts and stuff. That'd be pretty dope. Oh, someone's already built. No, just kidding. Just kidding. That'd be cool, huh? All right, Sleep Powder into that slot. Lilligant being its Lilligant. Things probably is gonna do its own sleep powder, but nope, Leaf Storm into the Flutter main slot, which isn't gonna do a whole lot of damage because it's no longer Great Tusk. And Graffiti is now asleep. So how long do I have Tailwind? Tailwind uh, goes for one more turn. I'm gonna Pollen Puff, Flutter main here, Thunderbolt, that Graffiti slot. I'm kind of leaving, you know, Lilligant alone. Right now, it can't really do anything to jump off. Um, so yeah, it, it can't really do a whole lot. It can't sleep them. And I could sit here and do Tailwind. They'll withdraw a little again because of the minus two, I believe. To bring out Indity. Which is gonna stop me from using priority moves, but I don't really use priority moves. I didn't bring in a Chan Pao, so right now it's not gonna make a difference. But it will access Graffiti's item, which is the Psychic Seed. So it is the unburdened strat for that. But it also raises its special defense. So it may survive the Thunderbolt. We'll see. It does, with very little HP to spare. And Tailwind's now gone. We'll go ahead and do Tailwind again. Yes, Tailwind again, and we'll Thunderbolt Graffiti again. I don't think it's Prankster. Sword, uh, Sword Stance would have activated long before anyone else's turns have. And it went last. So this might be the Unburdened set. Which, while it's asleep, it's not going to do a whole lot. And now that Flattermane's here in the sun, it's got 300 something so there's that and he becomes the main source of attention due to follow me i tailwind again so you survive one more turn uh graffiti graffiti is still asleep i'm just now going to pollen and pop into that slot sunlight faded uh proto census is wore off so it's no longer 307 it's now 205 well realistically 400 and 10 because 205 times 2 is a lot and uh, we'll just Thunderbolt into both slots we'll see what happens Indity does the follow me Fluttermane attacks first it goes hey Thunderbolt into that slot Indity goes down now Pollen Puff will now attack into Graffiti which hopefully will knock it out. It does not. It gets really, really close though, but it does not. And it wakes up. Hi, welcome back to the party. Acrobatics. Right into the flutter main slot. We'll knock it out, unfortunately. That's just how it goes sometimes. Okay, we'll swap into the Gyarados now. And they're gonna bring out Lilligant. Intimidate now goes off, lowering down people's attacks. Pollen Puff into Lilligan slot. And Waterfall into Graffiti slot. Well, let's Terrace 
deal into that slot. That's what we'll do. We'll Terra Steel and go right into that slot. We still have Tailwind. I double his speed, so I don't really have to worry about that too much. Yeah, Jump Luff has been a huge winner in this team. So now I Terra Steel. Because I don't really know what to use the Terra for. I mean, I could Terra Great Tusk into Fire, which would like make Leaf Storm weaker. But I also want to make uh, Lilligan think that I'm going to go into that slot. Oh, Graffiti used the Acrobatic, so it outspeeds my Pokemon. But I am Terra Steel, not very effective. Even with Acrobatics, here goes Waterfall into that slot, knocking out the Graffiti. And Leaf Storm into that slot as well. Will not do a whole lot of damage, but nice try. And it lowers your attack two spaces. And now I get Citrus Berry. And now I'm healthy. I'll unpuff into that slot. And just to be funny, we're going to Thunder Wave you. No, we'll just call it good. We'll little again. Oh, battle's canceled. Never mind. I was going to waterfall you, but nice try. Nice try. Alrighty, match number four is ready to go. We've got Sylveon, Sableye, Pelipper, Screamtail, Clouds, or Claude Sire, and Iron Hand. An interesting team comp. Um, two Pokemon that we are currently worried about, which is Sylveon and Screamtail. I don't really have an answer to either one of those uh, Pokemon. Like, since we got rid of our knockoff thing, we can't really do anything. I mean, I can sleep people with uh, Jump Luff and stuff like that. Sableye is dark, so Flatterman can take him out, no problem. Claude Sire is a very interesting Pokemon as well. I'm not really 100% sure how to take that one out, essentially. But we got Pelipper, which is going to do some rain stuff. So we should probably be no, uh, like notable for that 100% of, uh, uh, of the way. So let's see. A lot of these Pokemon seem to be physically built. So I think we'll walk in with our uh, Torkoal Fluttermane, which we will set up Sun. We'll bring in Gyarados. And I think I think we'll bring in the Jump Luff in the back. And we'll leave uh, Great Tusk and Chan Pao home. We're leaving those two behind because I don't know if uh, like it'll help with the Iron Hands for sure but I can also do a little bit more stuff. So Iron Hands and Sableye, both fake out users, that's interesting. But Iron Hands is also weak against, you know, Fluttermane. Okay, so speed was heightened. We don't really want to do anything with Torkoal this round. We're going to protect and we're just going to Dazzle Gleam. Both of these. Because Fake Out from either one of these Pokemon could be dangerous and I don't want to get hit with it. So Fake Out goes right into the Torkoal slot. And... Dazzle Gleam. Will knock out the Sableye one hit. And brings Iron Hands to a little less than half. Heavy Slam will go into the Fluttermane. Ugh, I was really hoping to survive a little bit longer, but I will take that. It's not a problem. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get set up here with Jump Luff. And they sent out Pelipper, which turns off the sun. I'm okay with, because I'll just switch into Gyarados. And I will sleep. Actually, I will Terra first. Sleep the Pelipper. He withdraws Iron Hands to bring out Sylveon. Good choice. I retreat Torkoal to bring out Gyarados. So here comes the Intimidates. And now Terra. My jump luff here from. Uh, grass to water. Is that grass flying? But now it's water. Now 
I'm not going to be hit. Okay, protect on the Pelipper. I'm not going to be hit with Hurricane because that was one thing I was worried about. Sleep Powder goes off, goes right into the Protect. Can't do anything about that. So now I will go ahead and Thunder Wave the Pelipper and I'll Sleep Powder the Sylveon. Because I should be faster than both. Pelipper's ability is Drizzle, so it doesn't have anything to increase its speed. And Sylveon's usually a Throat Spray. So that's where I'm getting the, the the feeling here. Okay, Sleep Powder into that slot will not affect the Sylveon due to safety goggles, but I will Thunder Wave into the Pelipper to get that 50% every so often uh, paralyzed. And Terra Blast will go into Gyarados, which won't do a whole lot. Hurricane into the Jump Bluff slot, which will do about half, a little bit more than I would like, but a little bit more. We're going to Thunder Wave into Sylveon. And I'm going to Tailwind? He didn't attack before me, so I don't think Tailwind right now would be beneficial. I'll swap out the the Jump Bluff. Or we'll bring out Torkoal to reset the sun. Makes Hurricane less effective. Thunder Wave into the Sylveon, paralyzing it. Hurricane into the Torkoal slot. Oh, that's a lot of damage and gets the confusion. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Terra Blast again goes into the Gyarados slot, which will also do a lot of damage. I wonder if that's... I don't want to say they're the choice, but it's like, are they? We'll protect here, and I will overheat the Sylveon sleep, uh, the slot. Withdrew Pelipper. They're going to reset it to get it off uh, of this weather. Going to bring out Iron Hands. Protect here. No, Sylveon can't be. That's right, I'm done. It's like, wait, it's got safety goggles. Why would it, why would it have a choice item? Why would I forget that? <laughs> okay, here comes my Terra. So nothing really happened on that turn. Sunlight for three more turns. It's going to lose its luster here in just a little bit, though. Let's see. What do I want to do? I can pull and puff into the Gyarados. Yeah, let's do that. Give it a little bit more health. Here you go. Have some health. Almost back up to full. Waterfall into the Sylveon, which isn't going to do a whole lot. Thunder Punch. Shucks. They don't even need to switch out to Sylve or to Pelipper at this point. Terror Blast into this, uh, from Sylveon to Jump Left will knock out my team. Ah! We had three wins in a row. Now we get humbled and lose one. So now we're three at one. Alrighty, and our fifth and final match of the day is ready to go. We've got Vivillion, Annihilate, Obama Snow, Iron Bundle, Chiyu, and Tinglu. Not Chi Yu, but Chi and Pao. Wow. Sometimes speaking is hard. All right. So in this particular setup, we do have to worry about Pavilion with the Intimidate as well as Tailwind. Annihilate because he likes to get punched in the face. And with his bulk up build, he gets punched in the face quite nicely. Bomb Snow and Iron Bundle for the obvious uh, Blizzard open. And then Chi and Pao and Ting Lu because they're runic Pokemon and answer to a lot of Pokemon, especially for Regulation D. So. Uh, what kind of setup are we going to walk in here with? It's, uh, it's going to be very interesting. I think, uh, Torkoal, maybe Fluttermane. Um, 
that that's it. That's probably like a good open. Uh, jump off in the back just so that if we need to sleep people, we can. And I'm not really interested in the in the intimidate, so I think Gyarados will stick out. Chien Pao would be useful, but it doesn't really do anything to Obama Snow. It wouldn't do anything to Annihilate either. We'll bring in Great Tusk since we only have like five seconds. Sometimes when you're picking a team of four and you only have a minute and a half to do it, it's it becomes hard because you kind of have to decide which one's going to be best for any situation. It's like, uh, maybe these four. It's interesting. All right. Names I can't read. We got Chien Pao and Ting Lu versus Fluttermane and Torkoal. Oh. Sucker Punch is going to be a thing right now. So right now, Fluttermane needs to leave. Torkoal needs to protect. Because Sucker Punch right now puts Fluttermane in danger. Yes, and we'll swap out to Great Tusk. And the same could be said for like Torkoal, right? Like him being available, but he's going to protect this turn, so it's not going to be that big of a deal. But I just, I, I have to be really cautious of, the, of that Sucker Punch. And they withdrew Tian, uh, Chan Pao to bring out Mama Snow takes off the, the sun. I protect. What does Ting Lu do? Ting Lu will do Earthquake. It's a good switching option. I, I can't complain with that. Uh, we're going to overheat. The Bomb of Snow. And we're going to close combat. Does this do both? No, we're going to close combat the uh, Tinglu. It's really, really bulky, but I need to get him down. Weak enough to where I can do a little bit more damage. Um, I do move slower, but that's okay. Great Tusk has done his job at this point. I was just really afraid of the Earthquake. Or at least uh, being sucker punched by a Chan Pao. Earthquake now. We'll take out the Torkoal. Ugh. Oof, Ting Lu. Coming in and sweeping the team. Oof. Alright, Jump Luff. Come on out. Earthquakes ain't gonna do much about uh, against him. And neither is um, Fluttermane, but I do need to change his Terra immediately. Sleep Powder, the Bomb of Snow. It's the best option that I have. Um, but Bomb of Snow could have Light Clay. No, it's got um, Life Orb. That's right. It's losing health because of its own attacks. So it's not going to have safety goggles. It's not going to have weakness policy. It's not going to have any of that. Uh, Ting Lu retreats to bring out, I think, Chi Chien Pao. Nope, Iron Bundle. With the Quark Drive, which is totally fine. I think I'm going to knock uh, him out anyway. I'm going to Terra my Jump Luff from Grass Flying to just Water. Take out my times four against uh, ice attacks. Ice shard. Ooh. Good call. Good call. That would have that would have knocked me out for sure. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and moon blast into the iron bundle slot. Knock it out. One hit KO. Get out of here. Thank you very much. The sleep powder to completely get ignored. Oh, doesn't the f Oh, yeah, he's grass. Duh. <laughs> Tailwind should have would have probably been better there. 
Talon for sure. Uh, Moonblast. Into Ting Lu. Tailwind. Because that's going to happen. Um, he's not using Ice Shard again. I mean, he could, but it, there'd be no point. I use Tailwind. The double my speed, but now what does Obama Snow do? Energy Ball, which is going to do a little bit of damage. By little, I mean a lot, as apparently that, that was a lot. Now, Chan Pao comes out. If it's got Sucker Punch, it's going to win. There's no way I can really come back from that. But it's losing health by its own attacks. But now with, uh, with that, I can only hope that they both don't own Ice Shard. Which, if that's the thing, you've got me. If you if, like Sucker Punch and Ice Shard, you've got me. Like, there's not, there's not a whole lot I can do after that, unfortunately. So what do I do? I mean, I can't swap to like Dazzling Gleam because that doesn't really do a whole lot. I just want to see it specs. I know that I can't click it. Yeah, why not? We'll attack the Obama Snow. Obama Snow. They will now Terra. And it's going to be the Chien Pao. And you are fire. Okay. I can dig that. But I went to that guy first. Thinking that you had Sucker Punch or Ice Shard. Doesn't seem like you have either one. You went for the Ice Spinner, which is going to do definitely a lot of damage. I mean, it is Flutter Main. With hardly any investment in an HP or defense. But not bad. We went three and two. Can't complain. And that, ladies and gents, is our video for today. As you can see, we are still in the Master Ball rank. We are still in the 11,000s of people. We did a really good job, but it seemed like every time that we won, we slowly went down in rank of people. And when we lost, we just jumped like 200 places. Or at least that's what it, that's what it seems like, right? But out of 65 battles, we have 28 wins, 37 losses. We are literally nine fights away from having a evened out win loss record. But still, 65 fights in the rank ladder isn't anything to scoff at, especially when we built the team from scratch and then revamped it and changed it to see what would work. And so far, it's turned out really well. And if you don't know how to pilot something, the more you play something, the better chances you have to understanding of what you need to do to play the thing, uh, play the thing, play the team, play the game, do the thing. But that's it, guys. That's all the videos. That, that's uh, all the matches that I have for you today. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you dislike it, hit the dislike button. Leave a comment down below. What do you guys think of today's video? If uh, any match of today, if you wanted to like bring in a different four, what match and uh, what four would you bring in? And are you excited for regulation D in like two weeks, maybe three weeks? I mean, today is Friday. Let's see. One, two, in three weeks, we have regulation. Well, two in a day, two weeks in one day, we have regulation D. And uh, I, wa I want to know what you guys are excited for. And if you guys want to see more content, hit the subscribe button and maybe hit the bell too. That'll at least notify you when I release content. Like I said, we have a podcast coming out soon. So there's that too. Hopefully it'll be on Spotify. We'll, we'll see. But anyways, guys, that's it. Have a good weekend. I'll see you guys again on Monday. That's it. Peace.